Does this thing still work? <sighs> Dust it off a little bit. I'm just kidding. What's up, guys? I know it's been a while, but, you know, I've been busy doing stuff. But today I have a, a little unboxing to do. I bought something that I really shouldn't have. I didn't want to do it, but... But anyways, well, let me show you, let me show you. So, I ordered this DC Sports uh, 421 uh, race header. So, it does delete the cat. And I'm going to do a little unboxing for you. I'm not going to install it yet. That video is coming out later. But I just wanted to get... Back in the swing of things, I figured, why not? A little quick, simple video. So let me let me get this thing on the ground, open it up for you guys, show you what's up. All right, so popped it open. These little metal clip things. I can't really find it now. These little copper things right here, pain in the ass. So let's see what's inside oh, look box of papers awesome no, just kidding, just kidding. Oh, that's good for recycling though you guys like to recycle you know I don't know if you live in California it's a mandatory recycle but yeah it's good for that and here it is Let's see what we have in the box. Let's, these are the ceramic coated version. As you can see, it's not the polished stainless. These are still stainless, but they are ceramic coated. Now I know DC Sports isn't the best, but these are for my 7th gen Civic for all you Honda guys out there you'd know that they come with the D17 1.7 liter engine. Like I said, I really didn't want to buy this because I do plan on putting a K, but I had some exhaust leaks and my catalytic converter was not working in the first place. So I thought I would just do it it was pretty cheap i think uh i paid 380 with tax shipped that's not too bad some places do for like oops about um maybe four 415 shipped that's really not too bad for a set of uh well these are the race header i'm pretty sure the regular um exhaust manifold that you can buy is a lot cheaper so Let's, let's keep looking here. Here, you see the actual header itself for uh, exhaust manifold. Let's focus. If I can get this thing to focus and sit down on the ground. I'm doing this outside. It's really nice right now. It's, uh, it's almost spring here in Arizona. Oh, look at that bumper. That scratch. Oh, poor MDX. So many miles on it. Anyway, let's get this thing to focus. Sorry if it's dark in here, I'm in the shade. But, all right. The flange looks like it's pretty good. I guess it's pretty flat. I don't know. I mean, I'm not expecting too much, but this says DC Sports. They're not the worst company out there. It's not eBay. I just noticed this though. Let's see if I can focus it right there. Looks like the welding isn't the greatest. Hopefully it doesn't come apart. I don't want to have to have this thing re-welded. Uh, so 
Mm. Oh, I guess I just didn't weld in the insides. Way to go, DC. They did weld on the outsides. And the welds look pretty good. So, yeah. I'm not making a lot of power on it. Hopefully it holds. Well, that's the actual manifold itself. And then here is the downpipe that comes with it. Like I said, this does delete the cat and is a four and a two into one. I like this little flex joint right here actually. It makes for non-excessive play on the manifold. And then here is a box or a bag of hardware. Right here. It looks like it comes with everything I need. Even the O2 extensions. Which is nice. Because so you can see the O2 bungs are way down here. That's way underneath the car, so I'll have to relocate those O2 bungs. Set of instructions. I don't know if I need that because car guys don't need really. <laughs> but hopefully it comes with all the bolts. Comes with the sticker right there, some zip ties. It comes with quite a few bolts, so I'm not mad about it. So yeah guys, I know it's a little quick little video. Um I will insert a um, sound clip I should say before um, I actually turn this or install this so watch out for maybe tomorrow's video I don't know we'll see I'm gonna try to do this every other day since I know a lot of youtubers aren't really making that much money off YouTube anymore but this isn't my full-time gig so I don't plan on doing this full time. I do have a full time job. I work, I pay the bills. I work very hard. So yeah, I will, I don't know. All right guys, like I said, sorry for taking a while to put on another video. It's just, like I said, I've been busy and you know, Life happens, but I am going to insert a, a little video clip right now of the stock exhaust sound. Well, not stock exhaust sound. I actually have a already have a uh, DC Sports full cat back exhaust on here. Um, stock header, stock setup with the catalytic converter and resonator. So um, I will go ahead and insert a clip and. Um, like I said, I wanted to do this because I do have some massive, massive exhaust leaks that I don't want to deal with, so I just bought that. So you're going to hear it, so yeah, try it out. Yes, my car is running a little rich. Hello. Now, when I install, or before I install the header, obviously I'm going to try to fix the leak so I can show you guys a clip of the the stock sound without the leak. I'm going to try to fix the exhaust leak real quick and show you guys a video of how it sounds when without the exhaust leak also, right before I install the new one. And I'm going to do, obviously, a sound clip of what the new one sounds like. I think I fixed it. So, peep a gander. Let's set the camera down. There we go.
obviously there's still a little bit of a leak but that is all going to change when I put the new header in and downpipe so yep there you go guys